Hi there, my mutable friends, and welcome back to Bon Echo Tarot. Yeah, I kind of gave you, you know, the conflicted ones because, you know, I mean, I could have said indecisive, I could have said waffling, I could have said all sorts of different things, but I think basically what the mutable signs all have in common is that they're kind of conflicted, you know, because they're they're kind of in the middle of wanting to keep the key, wanting to keep the peace, but also wanting to stay in their power. But, you know, the, the mutable signs are really most flexible, I guess would be the best way to put it. But I was just trying to be cheeky. So, uh, mutable signs, Virgo, Pisces, Gemini, Sagittarius, that's you. So, um, yeah, what can I tell you about the astrology for this week, February 8th to the 14th? We've got the new moon in Aquarius this week, folks. That's February the 11th, and that's on Thursday. So uh, this new moon is going to be a good time for friendship. This is uh, kind of the last relaxing party that we have before we get into the tense energies that I talk about in my monthly videos. So you should probably check that out. Um, but essentially, uh, it's going to be a really good time for friendship. Um, it is a time for surrender to the big changes and shifts that are happening in your life right now and to practice the healthy detachment. That, that Aquarius does represent oftentimes. So let's get into the cards and see what we have for you. So uh, one card from the Oracle of E to give us an idea of the general energies that you're dealing with this week. And then three cards for the advice from my Psychic Tarot deck. And we'll get one card from Marshall. Oh. Wait a second. I just flipped. Oh, what is that? Okay, here we go. There we go. I'll put that aside. I got excited. <laughs> All right. Okay. And a little bit. Alright, so there's all the cards. So your general energies for the week is a hairball. Uh -uh. So, um, and four plus one is a five. So uncomfortable changes, you know, that, um, that you're having to integrate. Yeah, um, you've also got the base chakra. So you're thinking about um, very... Uh, you know, basic needs, survival kind of stuff, your house, your job, um, and possibly forming new partnerships and alliances or looking um, extra closely to increase your awareness about any current partnerships that you've got going on right now. So, but, you know, it's very much divi oh, divinely, uh, you know, you may find in meditation um, you know, meditation may be actually a very grounding experience for you. So, um, in order to realign your connection to the things that make you feel secure. So, um, so that's that. So your Marsha McLuhan card is propaganda is any culture in action and another five. So uncomfortable shifts, um, you know, there could be, there could be some gossip around you. Um, there could be people talking about what you're doing these days and because maybe you've got a new beginning and, uh, one that is, um, that is fated for you because with the 17, that adds up to an eight. So that's the infinity symbol. So, um, this new beginning for you, which uh, the age of Aquarius is likely going to bring, is going to be very refreshing. It's definitely uh, divinely bestowed upon you. So I hope you found that helpful, my mutable, uh, what did I call you, conflicted ones? <laughs> so, um, yeah, and if you've got something better than conflicted for me to describe this modality, please let me know. 
Um, you know, because if I got you all wrong, you know, then let me know what's going on. All right, so we'll see you next week, and stay tuned for lots more.